um, you should pay attention to the little news blips that show up every now and then of, of people being killed with military issued weapons on the streets, on our streets, and in the streets in, in, in over in the United Kingdom and Ireland and everywhere. It's, it's a worldwide problem. It's not exclusive to us. But the problem has grown in severity. Um, this is this is this is uh, this is the inevitable effect of privatizing of, of making it an all voluntary force. Right, and but even so, the majority. I have to believe this. I have to hang on to this. That the majority of our of our men and women are honorable, and they go in there wanting to do the right things. But then you have this little pocket of people. You know, one bad apple, and um, there have been reports of uh, many deaths that can be attributed, homicides attributed to gang activity within the military. Um, Richard's murder has all the earmarks of what they call a beating in. Um, a beating in? A beating in. Uh, either if you want to be in the gang, um, you have to endure a beating. Even if you don't want to be in the gang, if somebody else wants to be in the gang, and it might be their job to, to beat you, you know. Uh-huh. It, yeah, to, so that they can get their own entry into the gang. It, it's ugly. It's just it's a, a never-ending vicious cycle. And that's only one of the problems that I believe led to Richard's death. Let's, let's go back to the discovery of the body. You said things went downhill from there. Tell us more about that, Sola. Well, you know, the, the, um, what happened, we had a, we had a brave young private um, who stepped forward. He had been out with some guys. And, your, your, voice, your voice is a little breaking up. I don't know. Is if, it, yeah, is that's it, better. Better? better. Better. Okay, I'm, I'm deep in the hills, <laughs> so it may have something to do with it. But um, he, anyway, it was reported uh, to the military police at Fort Benning, hey, I know where Richard Davidson's remains can be found. And they were found. Fort Benning went out. They, they um, called Columbus Police Department. Because his body was on um, state property and off post, the case was turned over to the Columbus, Georgia Police Department and the state of Georgia to take from there on out. Um, that's the first of, of many things. Columbus, Georgia State Police? Well, the Columbus, Georgia, Columbus, you know, the city of Columbus, Columbus, Georgia. Um, it, but it was investigated by the Georgia Bureau of Investigations and the Columbus Detectives. Um, it, um, he was, put it this way, when he was in the police reports, let me just give you an example. In the police reports, Richard Davis's skull had been wrapped in a, with a black skull cap. You know, one of those black wool caps that you see guys wear. And this was, remember, this was the middle of July. So why even have a skull cap, first of all? You mean when the, and, when the body was found, it was found with this black cap on it? Right. And, and there are two, three, three, excuse me, official statements taken from military and Columbus detectives stating that his head was found and his, when his remains were found, his head was covered in this black skull cap. But that black skull cap, I got to asking questions. I said, well, you know, um, I didn't see anything in the court transcripts. I said, where is this Where is this cap? Did it have holes in it? Had it been burned along with his body? Because that would have told me that they had put the skull cap on him before they killed him, which suggests an execution. Yes. And um, they can't find it they can't find it they can't find the black skull cap nobody can find the black skull cap it exists it was never mentioned in court and nobody can tell me where it's at now and I have I have been to every department that would know now when you say a skull cap of course there is a you know a Jewish skull cap that just covers no, 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 the no, crown no. of this the head like wool, this is a wool cap you'll see some yeah. uh, you, you see gang members wearing them a lot yeah. but not just gang members you know you'll see but it's, you know what it's, a lot it's like a ski cap a ski, cap. A ski yeah. mask, a ski mask. Yeah, well, yeah, but yeah, but without the holes. Yeah. But without the holes. Right, it's just a black wool cap. So you can and, wear it. Um, you can fold it up so you can right. see it all. That. Yeah, right. got it, got it, got it. Yeah, it's gone. It's all gone. I, and I, and well, you know, I'm like, wait a minute. That's key evidence. 
it was something that was wrapped around his skull. Now, Richard had been stabbed more than 33 times. Those were just the marks they found on his bones. 33 times? Yeah, those are just the marks on his bones. On his bones? Well, those, are deep, bones. those are deep penetrations then to hit the bones. Yes, he was stabbed 14 times in his head alone. They had gouged his eyes out. They had kicked his teeth in. Everything you could imagine to desecrate this human being, they did. All I wanted to know was, did the cap have holes in it? Had he been stabbed through that cap? And You said 14 times in the head alone? 14 times in his head alone. He would insert the knife, they'd twist it and pull it out. They even pulled out chunks of his bones. This is somebody they had just served with in Iraq. This is brutal. Yeah, and then when they got done, they went and set him on. They went to a, a corner store, bought some lighter fluid, came back and set him on fire. So you know where hide. the you know where the lighter fluid was bought? Yes, it was a, it was bought at a, a convenience store, uh, just less than a mile down the road from the location. So did they have footage of those who bought it? I mean, of those security? No, no. That's another thing. Uh, they also stopped at an ATM with Richard's card on their way back to Fort Benning and took out $500. When the Davises uh, and myself and others went to try to get copies, you know, the video of that to see who actually withdrew that money after Richard was dead, you know, they had taken his card. Um, oh, we don't keep those. We don't have that. How is that possible? You tell me and we'll both know. It was a con- To me, it was an orchestrated cover-up to protect the military's failings in this because there was, it, it, the people involved were dangerous. They knew them to be dangerous and did nothing. Um, there's Jacob Burgoyne, one of the young men that was involved. He um, had been sent back actually two days prior to Richard and the rest of the Audie Murphy unit. This is the unit they were in. And um, he had been sent back under guard for having tried to commit suicide. And he had put on his forms. They give him these forms. You know, that's how they doctor our, our soldiers. They give them forms to check. And he put on these forms, you know, that he felt he was a danger to himself and to his fellow soldiers. He gets back to Benning. This was on July the 10th. He has a 10-minute telephone interview with the psychiatrist on duty at Martin Army Hospital, and he's released. 10-minute so phone him. interview. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he had. He came back with orders from a colonel to be admitted to Martin Army Hospital. And they let him go. And, of course, Richard didn't make it back either, you know. Um, he was killed by this young man and others. You, you do believe this young man was part of it? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I have no doubt in my mind about it. Now, he was chosen as the, um, this, this is such a complicated case. He was chosen as the state star witness, this young man. And what that, in effect, did was make him uh, unimpeachable in front of the jury, which means nothing negative about his background his mental state, anything, was allowed in court. Now, now, tell me how this came to come to some kind of trial. How did it develop that there was any Well, kind after of... with the arrest, well, you know, when, when his remains were found, um, they also, the person that told, also told who was involved or supposedly involved. They were arrested, and they didn't try to deny anything. Really? They, yeah, they just admitted it all right there. They said it was due to a bar fight that got out of hand. Really? Yeah. And that, that they were all drinking, and uh, Richard Davis had caused them to get thrown out of his nightclub because he threw some chains at a stripper. And uh, that's supposedly, I guess, a big insult to strippers. And it got them thrown out, and um, they were mad about that, started a fight. One thing leads to another. One of them pulls out a knife, starts stabbing him. Jesus. Yeah, but it but it goes back a lot further than that. That was just a very um, that is not what happened. Tell me more. 